Seal. Seven Road's got a big lead though with 100 to go. He had a great run in transit and will capitalise fully on it. He charges away Seven Road. He's going well and he won by three lengths. Yeah, he's absolutely flying that old horse. He's, um, that's two wins from his last three starts, which is great. Mrs. Edwards is very pleased being the sole owner of that horse as well. But um, oh, look, he really probably suits kids like Georgie. Um, he's sort of, you know, these classic uh, apprentice kids, they just sort of bowl out and go pretty hard and they just keep running and the, the kids kick him in the guts at the top of the straight and the old horses just keep running. He's probably an ideal horse for an apprentice to learn to ride on. So um, he'll probably go around a similar sort of race. He's, you know, he's no superstar, he's eight years old. So find another little race very similar and I'm sure he'll be hard to beat again. Um, yeah, what else did we have? Uh, Roldana, she went to Mooney Valley last Friday night, and uh, gee, she had no luck. I'd, I'd love to see her sectionals. Um, uh, she, from the half mile home, she made up probably 10 or 12 lengths on the leader, and she's only got beaten uh, probably three quarters of the length, I suppose. So she looks like she's um, you know, going to really make the grade. Uh, tossed up what to do with her now, but we'll probably take her to sand down and try her, give her a run over 2,400 metres in a couple of weeks. Um, and then, you know, she's had quite a few racing this time in. So uh, whether we should put her out and um, bring her back for the order after that but I really want to give her one crack over 2400 before she goes to the paddock. Yeah, now runners this week will um, we'll probably only be racing the one day this week, and that'll be at Geelong on Saturday. Now, London Fog goes around in the Balan Cup, um, gets right down in the weights. Uh, he's still probably, I reckon, a month off peaking that horse, but uh, we've just sort of looked after him. Uh, his work uh, through the week was okay. We didn't sort of ask him to do much, but it was nice and solid for line. Um, he's uh, very bright and well this morning, so I've got no doubt he'll perform very well. 1,500 might be a tad bit short, but um, he'll be absolutely smoking to the line, and uh, if a couple of these front runners sit up, he'll be all over them sort of late. Uh, we'll also step out a filly called Modern Miss. Um, now, uh, I was going to try give her another trial, but um, oh, there's an 1100 metre race on her home track on the grass, so uh, she can probably kick out there, use it as a bit of a trial. But um, she seems to be going very, very well, and I'm um, really happy with everything she's doing, so um, we'll probably use it as a trial. Once again, she probably won't go a little bit further, but she does reel off good sectionals, this filly, and don't be surprised if she could run into a place at long odds. Um, a couple of other horses that we'll probably take down to Terrain on Tuesday and go to the trials. Um, there's about four or five horses that are um, probably just about a week off of racing. So we'll give them a nice trial next Tuesday and then um, probably five or six horses will be ready to race the following week. Hi everyone, I uh, had another successful week last week with two winners. Uh, the first one being Severn Road at Horsham. Uh, he's a good old horse to the stable and he's a, a stable favourite. He's going really great this prep and uh, on, the, on top of the ground he's pretty hard to beat. Uh, the second one was Telemarketer at Mortlake. Um, he's still a little bit green. I sat outside the leader and he was too good for them but uh, hopefully there's many more wins to come for him. Uh, coming up this week, I'll be riding at Geelong on Saturday where I'll be riding Delightful Sun. Uh, he's in really good form, this horse, and uh, if there's a good tempo, he'll be coming home strong. Uh, and then on Sunday, I'll be heading to Ararat. It's Ararat Cup Day and have a few nice rides there, so keep an eye on them. Keep following me and I'll see you all next week. Now, Spring Stable was really interesting uh, with Extreme Choice getting beaten, Jamaica getting beaten. Uh, they were big players. Um, we've got Oaks Day to go and Stakes Day to go. So here's our leaderboard, and uh, it's really, really interesting. Um, if, uh, if the favourite in the Oaks gets up, that might change a few things at the top of the leaderboard. But anyway, here's our leaderboard, and uh, good luck to all the players. That's it for another week at MZ Lodge. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, how good was the Melbourne Cup? Yes, I thought it was a great race. Um, really interesting, wasn't it? The Irish owner who owned the horse that runs second, he got more excited than Lloyd did, I think. It uh, just goes to show how important the uh, Melbourne Cup is. You know, you have the uh, quite sterile um, uh, acceptance speech from Lloyd Williams thanking everybody, and then you have the bloke who runs second. He went absolutely off tap because he runs second. He even said, I didn't care if it ran last. He said, I've got a runner in the Melbourne Cup. How good is this? So uh, probably uh, is the reason we're all involved in this industry, and it? Uh, I thought that was fantastic to see, and I hope they bring the horse back next year, and geez, I hope it wins for him. Good luck to him. We also had a great day down at the Barwon Edge at the uh, Cup Eve luncheon with the Thoroughbred Club of Geelong. It was fantastic. Uh, Peter Mertens turned up. It was great, and Pete told us all about, uh, I think Pete's had six or seven rides in the Melbourne Cups. Uh, we also had uh, Bill Cockrum there, and he had um, Jamaica racing in the race, and uh, unfortunately, Jamaica didn't fire on the day, but it was great to hear the insight that Bill gave us all about uh, owning a horse running in a Melbourne Cup, and, uh, and some mug trainer got up there and spoke about when he had a a uh, horse in it last year as well. So it was really good. Uh, Mrs. Edwards even won the cup sweep, so there was a bit of money there for her to have a little punt on cup day. Until next week, see you later. Uh, 
I don't know, couldn't think of what else to say. The uh, spring stable competition is really hotting up with uh, Jamaica winning the Cox Plate, the Cox Plate, the Caulfield Cup. Uh, I can't think what else to say.